Hi children, today we are going to see exercise 2.2 in this video. Okay, so let me explain you all the problems. Uh, so in this first problem, find the uh, area of the given figure. That is option 1 and option 2. They have given two figures. Okay, I have drawn the figure here. So here it is given, this diagonal is given as 8 cm and this diagonal is given as 16 cm. Okay, likewise for this problem, the height is given as 11 cm and base is given as 15 cm. Already I explained you that we have two formulas for area of the rhombus. That is, if base and height are given, we have to use base into height formula. Or else if diagonal is given means we have to use half into d1 into d2 formula, right? So here also I am going to follow the same thing. So whatever is given in the picture I have written here. So diagonal 1 I have taken it as D1 as 8 cm, D2 as 16 cm. So while uh, finding out the area of the rhombus we use the formula half into D1 into D2. So here half into D1 is 8 and D2 is 16. Okay both the numbers are even numbers only so we can cancel it using 2. So using 2 table I have cancelled the 16. So 1 2 is a 2. 8 2s are 16. Okay, balance we have 8 into 8. 8 8s are 64. So 64 square centimeter is our answer. Okay, here base is given as 15 centimeter and height is given as 11 centimeter. So we are using the formula base into height. Okay, so now I have multiplied both the base and height that is 11 into 15. My answer is 165 square centimeter. Okay. The second problem is Find the area of the rhombus whose base is 14 cm and height is 9 cm. So already we know how to do this problem. So base is given as 14 cm and height is given as 9 cm. So we have to find out the area of the rhombus. We are using B into H formula since base and height are given. Okay, I am multiplying both the things and I got the answer as 126 square meter. I think it is very very easy. Now the third problem, find the missing value. Here they have given... D1 that is diagonal 1, diagonal 2 and also area column. Okay. In first option they have given diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. We have to find out the area. Likewise second option D1 is given and area is given. We have to find out D2. Okay. Third option D2 and area are given. We have to find out the diagonal 1. Okay. Shall we do the first problem? So first problem we know that area equal to half into D1 into D2. Am I correct? Okay, so half into D1 is 19 and D2 is 16. Since 19 is an odd number, is an odd number, we are going to cancel 16. So 1, 2 are 2, 8, 2 are 16. So we have 19 into 8. Shall we multiply? 8, 9 are 72, 7 balance. So 8, 1 are 8. 8 plus 7, 15. So 152. Square centimeter. So I am writing 152 square centimeter as my answer. So okay. second option D1 is given and area is also given. So we have to find out D2. Okay. Uh, so area equal to half into D1 into D2. So area is given as 468 half into D1 is 26 and D2 we didn't know. We have to find out. Okay. Now I am bringing all the numbers towards the other side. So D2 will be as it is and all the numbers will be going to the other side. This 1 by 2 order reciprocal is 2. So into 2 divided by 26 will come down. Okay. So now 1 2 is 2 3 2 is 6 So 2 2s are 4, 3 2s are 6, 4 2s are 8. Okay, now we can try out 13 table. First, let us multiply these numbers 8, 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4, divided by 13. Okay, so 4 68 divided by 13. Okay, 3 13s are 39, so 7, 8, okay, so 6, 
that is 6 13s are 78. So our answer is 36 meter. Okay, so our answer is 36 meter. Okay, we have to solve this. <coughs> uh, now we are going to do the third option. So now third for third option. Area equal to half into D1 into D2. Same formula. But area is given as 180. And D1 we have to find out. And D2 is 12. Okay. Oh, now D1 I want. So I am taking this 1 by 2 and 12 to the other side. So 180. See 1 by 2 will come the, this side as 2 divided by 12. Okay. So now 1 2 is 2. 6 2 is 12. 1, 6 are 6, 3, 6 are 80. So my answer is 30. Here the unit is millimeter. So 30 millimeter is my answer. So for this third problem, we found out the missing values. Okay. Using the formula half into D1 into D2. Since D1 and D2 are given, we are using the formula area equal to half into D1 into D2. Okay. Fourth problem, the area of a rhombus is 100 square centimeter and length of one of its diagonal is 8 centimeter. Find the length of the other diagonal. Okay, area is given, one diagonal is given. So, I am taking that one diagonal as D1 and we have to find out the other diagonal. That is, we have to find out D2. Okay, now I have written the formula. So, I have substituted the values. 100 is the area and uh, formula is half into D1 is given as 8 and D2. Okay, we have to find out D2. So, I am taking these two numbers to the other side. So, 1 by 2 will come that side as multiplication. That is divided, divided by 2 will go uh, that side as multiplication of 2. So, into 2 divided by this multiplication 8 will go down as division. Okay, divided by 8. So, I am cancelling 1, 2 is 2 and 4, 2 is 8. Okay, now I have 4 here and 100 here. I am cancelling using 4 table. So, 1, 4 is 4. 2 fours are 8, balance 2, so 20, 5 fours are 20, so 25. My answer is D2 is 25 centimeter. The problem is a sweet is in the shape of a rhombus. Okay, a sweet which is in the shape of a rhombus whose diagonals are given as 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter. Okay, you might have seen some sweets like Kaju Katri. It was in the shape of a, a, a rhombus. Okay, and its diagonals are given that is 4 cm and 5 cm. Okay. 4 cm and this is 5 cm. Okay. Now what they have given is the surface of the sweet should be covered by an aluminium foil. Okay. Already you might have seen in some of the sweets that silver foils or gold foils will be used as decorating that is for using for presentation. You might have seen already. Right. So, likewise, here they are using aluminium foil for covering, okay, this sweet. Find the cost of aluminium foil used for 400 such sweets at the rate of rupees 7 per 100 square centimeter. See, actually, they are going to make 400 uh, sweets like this, okay. So, one sweet order diagonals are given and we first we have to find out the uh, area of 400 sweets uh, that is 400 sweets first okay then what they are asking is cost of covering that one sweet sorry 100 square centimeter sweet is rupees 7 okay we have to find out how much we need that is cost of foiling for our 400 sweets we have to find out so first let me find out the area of one sweet okay so area of the sweet we can this is in the shape of a rhombus so I am using this formula half into D1 into D2. So D1 is 4 and D2 is 5 so I am substituting the values so I am cancelling it out 1 2 are 2, 2 2 are 4. So after cancelling I got the answer as 10 square centimeter that is this is the area for only one sweet. So we need the area for 400 such sweets okay that is 400 sweet or the area we need first. Okay, so 1 sweet order is 10 cm square. So 400 means 400 into 10 that is 4000 cm square. Okay, our sweet order area that is our sweet 
this diagonal shaped sweet or area one day totally we have 4000 cm square okay but here they have given 100 cm square for the rupees 7 okay so we need the amount for 4000 cm square okay so for 4000 cm square we have to divide this 4000 by 100 into 7 so i'm cancelling out zeros with zeros so my balance is 40 into 7 so 40 into 7 is 280 so the cost of foil for covering 4000 cm square that is our 400 uh, this type of uh, sweet is rupees 280 so now the objective type questions okay uh, sixth problem the area of the rhombus with the side 4 cm and height 3 cm is okay so area formula is we know that base into height so 4 into 3 that is 12 square centimeter. So which is our answer? Option 3 is our answer. Okay. Next one. The area of the rhombus when both diagonals are 80 centimeters. So D1 is 8 centimeter and D2 is also 8 centimeter. So we can use the formula half into D1 into D2. Instead of D1 I have written 8 and D2 I have written 8. Okay. 1, 2s are 2, 4, 2s are 8. So what is the value for 4, 8? 32 square centimeter. So 32 square centimeter is our second option. So the eighth problem is the area of the rhombus is 128 square centimeter and the length of one diagonal is 32 centimeter. The length of the other diagonal is. Okay. They have given area and one diagonal. We have to find out the other diagonal. So area equal to half into d1 into d2 so area is given as 128 half into d1 is given as 32 and d2 we have to find out okay so d2 is equal to i am taking all the numbers to the other side so 128 into 2 divided by 32 okay 132 is 32 432 sir 128 so 4 into 2 equal to 8 so, my answer is 8 centimeter. Okay, that is your answer. Now, the ninth problem. The height of the rhombus whose area is 96 square, centimeter, square meter and side is 24 meter. So, area is given and one side is given. We have to find out the height. So, area equal to base into height. This formula we are using. So, 96 equal to 24 into h. So, h equal to 96 divided by 24. Shall we cancel using two table? So, 12 times. 4 2s are 8. So 1 8. 1 12s are 12. 4 12s are 48. So my answer is 4 meter. Okay. Now see the last one. The angle between the diagonals of a rhombus is. Already while explaining you the properties of the rhombus. I told you the diagonals bisect each other at right angle. Very good. Okay. Right angle means how? What is the angle? Right angle means 90 degree. So, my answer is 90 degree. Okay. So, our exercise 2.2 is over. So, please go through all the problems and do it uh, uh, in your notebook. Okay. Just practice it. Then only you can clearly understand the concept. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe my channel and click like button. Thank you.